range script loaded, you can now press, escape, select choose slot and pick your aircraft. The D-45 Charlie has two weapons stations, the fuselage centerline is not wired for weapons and is used only to carry a baggage container. For rocket attacks, each wing pylon is capable of carrying a LAU-68 rocket launcher, with provisions for seven 2.75-inch folding thin aircraft rockets. The FFAR rockets have a peak speed of 690 meters by second, and they weigh 19 pounds each. The D-45 uses Mark 67 or WDI-1 practice warheads, which produce smoke on impact. These practice rockets are used to simulate the service M-151 rockets, having similar shape, weight and ballistic characteristics. For this training mission, we will use a weapons range that uses objects created by the 476th Virtual Fighter Group, and a weapons range script developed by the user Suribob that will allow you to gauge your accuracy and monitor your progress. On this mission, the predefined load is 14 practice rockets under the wings. We will drop them singly or in ripples, during several passes over the range target, in order to better practice the delivery profile. Perform the passes on a west-to-east general direction, so that the mission logic can keep track of them. You can make as many passes as you want, while you still have any rocket left. You can access the attack statistics calling up the F-10 option of the communications menu. Your aircraft is ready to start the flight, increase throttle and let the aircraft slowly move forward. Once the aircraft is moving, press the wheel brakes to confirm their operation. Release the wheel brakes and resume the taxi. Be careful of other traffic that may be near you. Good, now turn left and proceed along the taxiway, towards the runway. Stop just short of the runway and then check that there is no air traffic about to land or take off. 
Unfortunately, the D45 Charlie can't make use of the ATC on DCS. If there is no traffic, enter the runway, align on its center and stop there. We are now ready to take off, let's do a short checklist. 1. Control augmentation switch. Set to all. Unfortunately, this switch is not implemented yet. 3. Set the flaps slats, to their half position. 4. Set a pitch trim between 2 to 3 degrees nose up, for short takeoff. Rudder and aileron trim should be at zero. Five, canopy. Confirm it is closed, locked and its advisory light is out. Seven, ejection seat. Set to its arm position. This completes the takeoff checklist. We are now ready for takeoff. Follow the usual procedure. Hold wheel brakes. Increase throttle to 90% RPM. Check instruments and alerts. If everything is well, release the brakes and accelerate to maximum RPM. Use nose wheel steering to maintain directional control and keep the aircraft on the runway's centerline. At 115 knots, pull back on the control stick to raise the nose, and allow the aircraft to fly itself off the ground. Lift off. We are now on the air, use trim to maintain a steady climb. Once on the air, retract the landing gear, with the GQ or by clicking the gear handle. Retract the flaps before reaching 150 knots, using the HODAS or the F key.
You are over waypoint 1. Now, turn right towards waypoint 2. Maintain 300 knots and ascend to arrive at the next waypoint at 7000 feet altitude. We will use the left multifunction display to configure our weapons. First, click on menu. Next, click on the SDRS button to display the stores page. OK, now select air to ground mode by clicking on the highlighted button. You can also use the mode button of the data entry panel instead. As we have not yet enabled the master arm switch, the legend safe is shown. The weapons computer of the T-45 is not able to detect the type of weapon mounted. You have to manually select the weapon type using the buttons at the top of the display. The first two are for the left wing station, the center one is for the simulated gun, and the rightmost ones are for the right wing station. Click one of the two highlighted buttons to select rockets on the corresponding left or right station. Good, the display will update to reflect the selected station and it indicates the rocket's quantity remaining. You are currently on single release mode. On this mode a single rocket will be released on each press of the flight stick's weapon release button. If you want, you can use the RPPL button to select ripple mode instead, where all the station rockets would be released when you press and hold the weapon release button. The air to ground mode has two delivery modes, manual, and continuously computed impact point, CCIP. Currently, the system has defaulted to manual. In manual delivery mode, the HUD displays the depressed sideline aiming reticle. You can use the set depression rocker switch on the data entry path to input the desired side depression in milli radians. CCIP mode is more precise, but it is not implemented yet, so we will use manual mode instead. Check the briefing illustrations for rocket launching tables, but Keep in mind that the site depression values for the real rockets may not be correct for the simulator. You will have to find which depression value is best for you. We have now the rockets configured for a launch. The last step of the procedure is to place the master switch on the arm position. Ah. Good, the rockets are now ready to use. Launch them by pressing the stick's weapon release button. Do not use the stick's trigger as it is meant for guns only. We have reached waypoint 2. Turn right to enter the weapons range on an easterly head. The rocket target circle is enclosed within a square, on the northern section of the range. Do not confuse it with the larger bombing target. Don't head directly to the target, or the nose of your aircraft will hide it. Instead, fly to a heading just to the right or left of the target. Once the target is just past the nose of our aircraft, it is time to begin our dive. Roll the aircraft until almost inverted and pull on the stick to dive. Reduce throttle. Keep the target in sight and strive to attain the predetermined dive angle. Wait until your altitude reaches the predefined value and then press the weapon release once the reticle is over the target. 
pull back on the stick to exit the dive, retract the air brakes and increase throttle. Use left or right trim to level the aircraft. Good pass. Turn right 180 degrees, towards a westerly heading, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7,000 feet. Check the SMS, to confirm that there is a rocket selected for the next pass. Good pass. Turn right 180 degrees, towards a westerly heading, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7,000 feet. Check the SMS, to confirm that there is a rocket selected for the next pass. Good pass. Turn right 180 degrees, towards a westerly heading, and perform another pass. You have no more rockets left. You should now navigate towards waypoint 4, to return to a Napa Air Base. Deactivate the armament, with this procedure. 1. Place the master switch on the safe position, down. 2. Set master mode to nav, by clicking on the highlighted button.
you can also use the mode button of the data entry panel instead. 3. Set the left multifunction display back to the ADI page. You can check your range results by calling up the communications menu. Select F10, Other, then select F2, Range. Finally, click F3, My Bombing Results. Unfortunately, the D45 Charlie and DCS can't yet communicate with ATC, so you must use the F10 map to be aware of other air traffic that may be flying near an APA. Press spacebar once you have checked the F10 map. You have reached waypoint 4. Reduce speed and altitude. Turn right 90 degrees, towards an APA. Since you can't contact an APA's ATC to request landing, check the F10 map to confirm there is no other air traffic near the runway. Perform a visual landing.
press backspace, if you want to end the mission now, or spacebar, if you want to practice the taxi to the parking ramp. This is taxiway C. Proceed forward to apron 2. Park on spot number 23. Well done, this is spot number 23. You have finished this training mission. Press, spacebar, to exit the mission.